So if we also get these doors set up first. So we just want the timbered door? Or do we want... Uh, what's the studded door? Okay, no. We, we just want sort of a timbered door. I think that works out. So if we have one right here... Still thinking that we can have it stick out by one more. But I guess for now we're not going to do that. Uh, I kind of prefer the doors to stick out by one more as well. This is going to be awkward for our carpenters. I just realised that. Yeah, we want it to stick outside. Just want to double check that it's actually going to stick outside for the most part. If you just climb down there, good sir. Masonry, 19.2k. Misc items is uh, nearly... Well, it's at 760 max right now. So we have quite a lot with us. And this area is being constructed. Probably want to get like a nice lamppost set up right here. I think we need to get an engineer though. Oh, no, we don't. We just need a carpenter to do that. It's fine. I'm going to take a drink of water. And still continue to work on our house. So with most houses, they usually look good when they're finished. So <laughs> we should uh, just... Bear that in mind. Bear that in mind. If we go ahead and go to our walls. I'm not sure if you want to have a second layer sort of boundary block. That sort of helps to segregate the first and second layer. That might be something we end up doing. If we go to full timber though. And just set this up. This should look really good. Well, the, the way we did it before. You know, should look fairly interesting. I don't know why I'm paused. They can like do this on the fly anyway. There we go. Oh, these layers look really nice when they're connected. Like on these corners. That's a really nice touch. I like that. I like a lot of things. Yeah, this is looking really nice. Going to protect against flooding this brick, okay? No mold. I like that. No rotting of the wood. There's going to be a, a little bit of rotting. Okay, I'm not going to lie there. There will be some rotting, but not too much. For us to really worry about the situation. Oh yeah, it's looking nice. I feel like we want to seg like keep this layer sort of uh, a nice little plat of a uh, bit, little bit of land that we can just sort of stick around. If we go to our uh, what wood stack burnt down? What wood stack has been destroyed? Oh dear! Oh my God! They found us! <laughs> The necromancers have found us, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. It's been so long. He's got three skeletons. It's just a scouting party. Okay, thank God. They found us, though. We've got to take him down before he actually uh, sends a message to his friends. I think he's just walking by. I think he just looked at our town and was like, oh, what's this? He probably doesn't know it belongs to the mighty as lay. Okay. Let's send these troops right here to go and dispatch this necromancer before he causes any more fuss. He's just sort of made a, an annoying just pile of mess. It's not very good. Also, I'm not just sure if there's going to be a morale uh, issue right here, but I guess there won't be. As long as we take out these skeletons first, we should be all right. We've got just got to try and actually get the skeletons out. Necromancers do quite a lot of damage, especially to our guys, and we didn't make any good armor. Well, any decent armor. So we're going to have to watch out. Okay, we've already drawn the attention of one of the skeletons, so that's good for us. We just pause right here, because I don't want them to keep running back. We just want to stay idle. Don't run toward him. Alright, there we go. So we've taken out one skeleton. We did take some damage though. Which is quite unnecessary. Also, the game didn't pause, which is a bit weird. The necromancer's gotten rid of our functionality. Right. Stop burning things down, necromancer. You're a bastard. Alright, if we just go ahead and lure these skeletons towards us without attracting the attention of the necromancer. At the moment, his back is turned. He's not seen our presence. He hasn't seen Islay's banner on the shields of our warriors. He does not know about the legend herself. Yeah, well, themselves. So we do a little bit of damage here. 20 damage right there, which is not great. We did take uh, damage there where we didn't need to. That's fine. We're going to try. Do we want to go for the attack now, or... Do we want to not risk it because of that skeleton? Let's see if we can go round. We might be able to attract the skeleton only, but it's very unlikely. At the moment, he's sort of just hitting trees. So, it's not really too much going on. He spawned another skeleton, which is quite unfortunate. But we have attracted the attention of one of them. It's a good thing that their attack range is significantly 
larger than the necromancer himself. But I think he's actually just sort of hating these trees right now. <clears throat> They're more hostile toward him, those trees. Damn trees. All right. Okay, that guy did no damage. That's fantastic. We do have an armored skeleton coming towards us. It's going to take a little bit more damage. And he's going to do more damage. So we've got to watch out. Maybe do some strafing. You don't want to go too close because otherwise the necromancer will help. Like I said before, necromancer does incredible amounts of damage when he actually hits you. But that is the real question. Will he actually hit you? So the skeleton's going towards where he last saw us. Ow, that was damage. Really good. Okay, now let's see if we can get Stuart and Usk into a pincer move. To see if we can actually take out this necromancer. Oh, okay, he missed. We're going around right here. Every time he hits, we're just going to do sort of a straight beeline away. Okay, go for it. Go for the kill. You did zero damage to you, Stuart. That's amazing. <laughs> you did like a miss. You did like a dodge. The Necromancer, though, has been vanished. He's been taken out of the realm. This is really good. Hopefully, he didn't actually send the message to his friends. Otherwise, we may actually start to have a few problems. He has scorched a bit of the land, though, from this direction. It could have been a lot worse, though. It could have been, like, an army making its way towards another settlement. They have been looking for Islay, I'd imagine, for quite some time. They don't know if they've actually found her yet. But they're probably marking it on their map, so we've got to watch out. Prepare ourselves. Before we do that, though, we've got to make sure that our food is all good. Right. So if we go ahead and continue to build this. Wow, that looks really nice. <laughs> have you seen that? It's like a little window. That's fantastic. One second. Yeah, we need scaffolding windows because that is a really cool design, especially the way it works around the stone brick right here. Okay, if we mine out these two layers, uh, this one and this one. Yeah, that's going to look really nice. And then we do the same here and here. Do you want to do it here? Not really. Just a few of the areas. Even putting it there is kind of a stretch. But I think it's a nice touch. So we're going to leave that there. Uh, this one, I think we're going to mine that a bit out first. because We want to make sure it looks better on the outside than on the inside. The inside doesn't matter. That's the part we're not going to see. So we'll get our miner to sort that pit out. Now, this is essentially our first layer. So what we want to do is actually get ourselves our second layer set up. Now the second layer always stretches out by one. Well, at least that's what I've usually done in the past. It's not going to really work though right here. So I'm thinking this part has to sort of be a balcony of some form. I'm thinking anyway that should be a balcony. It would make sense to be one. Also, I'm thinking, how's this going to work on the inside? Because this looks quite interesting. There's a lot we can really do, like have this come out a little bit more and then have some sort of troughs that sort of sig signal some sort of, I don't know, water or something like that. Or some sort of engine connected to it. It's not actually an engine, but it'll look interesting. There's a lot we can do, which is really cool. I'm really glad we found this, because that's a really cool looking window design with the scaffolding. Mm. Ah, beautiful. Right. So if we try and see what we can do here with the actual walls. If we go back to full timber. Then what we can do is have this go out by one more. Like I said, this is what we were going to do before. Have it pop out. But I'm thinking these windows, uh, well, the, the actual doors themselves, we can just leave on like a flat surface. So instead of actually poking out. It will just sort of do this, like we just showed you before. I think that'll look really nice. I don't know why. But I think it might help to accentuate the windows a little bit more. Now, the scaffolding, obviously, is going to be kind of useless here. I've just realized this. But we always do this with our buildings, because it actually makes it look quite interesting. It adds a little bit of extra shape, where there would not usually not be any. But like I said, right here is where we're going to have ourselves some scaffolding. Uh, well, some uh, sort of flat surface, so I'm not going to mind too much about actually... Going out by one on this side. In fact, it might look quite interesting if we don't. So, we'll see what we can do. And then if we just build along here. There we go. If we get these scaffolding sorted out. Obviously, we can't use the scaffolding here. So, if we just uh, mine up here. And then if we go ahead and make some scaffolding along here. Not fences. Scaffolding, please. That'd be very nice of you. There we are. I want to get some brick attached here as well. That'd be really great. There we go. And we'll go four up. 
Even though I'm going to make a stairway up here anyway on the inside. In fact, yeah, that would be a much better idea. The problem with doing it, we'll want one on the inside and the outside anyway. Just to help them actually get up and down. So if we do line right here. You know what, this is actually a waste of scaffolding. So if we don't do that, that'd be pretty great. So the builders are on their way. Do we actually have enough uh, hammers? We do have quite a few hammers, so it's not too much of a big deal. Alright, so they're just getting all the scaffolding sorted out here. Now they actually make their way up. Oh, I just realised this is why this is a bad idea, because them going up and down becomes a bit of a fuss, so we will need two of them. There we go. What are you, look what are you looking for, Merv? What's that? Merv's stuck or something. No, I'm coming. Come on. Okay, no. Now he doesn't want to. <laughs> hey, fine. I don't care. I want to see these windows. Well, I don't think we have our miner. I think they're awake. I think that's them there. Yeah. Radcliffe? Yeah, you're not awake there. It's fine. We'll get it sorted out. So there we go. We want to get some stabilizers in a second. We'll see how it's going to work around these windows first before we do that. I'm thinking stone stabilizers or something like that. Add a little bit of contrast to the buildings. I love my contrast, apparently. <laughs> I really do. I'm trying to make an interesting looking building right here. It's where half the episode really goes, though, isn't it? it? Just goes towards making a building. Like, nearly been 45 minutes of that. Um, where, where am I? What is this again? Full timber? Full timber along here. There we go. And then we'll uh, sort of level out the inside here in a second. And we won't really need to do that just yet. I think this bit, yeah, this bit they've missed out on. Yeah, full timber, right. Okay, so if we just get them to do this bit. And then I'm thinking then we can actually poke this out by one more. It can still be part of the layer, it just sort of... Just sort of adds a little bit more to the door, I suppose. the same on this side. And then we'll start building up by a few extra layers. There we are. That looks pretty good. Right, so now, we will just sort of... Like we, we do have to flatten this layer off. And what we can use is... What do we use for the bridge? Because this is a good really... Uh, timber planks. So timber planks are a really good flooring layer, I've found. So if we just go for the... Actually, tiles. Tiles are pretty good as well. But I think planks help more with second floor buildings. So if we go for the planks right here, and then we can actually sort of level this up on this side. Oh, what? What do you want? <laughs> right, anyway... Do we have everything here? Yeah, we got a food crate, a tool chest. All right then. I, I thought we had more builders than this. So I thought they were like going back and forth trying to get stuff. We need to have beds, I suppose. Oh, don't you dare, Merv. So let's see. Uh, we're using up quite a lot of timber, and we're still making most of it. Not fast enough, though, I'm afraid. So we're, we're eventually going to run into a few issues. But once we run out of timber, we'll just work on the farm. Then again, we'll get <laughs> we're going to get this fence sorted out. So there we are, and now we can actually work on the wall right here. So if we go over to... Gotta get some fences done here. I kind of want to corner these bits off. If we're going to make fences, then probably would be a good idea. So <laughs> I'm just thinking how we're going to get it to work. There's a stuff we can do. We'll see later on. Uh, if we just go pause right here, walls. I want to try and make this roof today, so... <laughs> I want to make this roof today. Might be a good idea. <laughs> Might be able to get it started now, actually. Because I think we only need to go up one more layer. And then the rest of the roof sort should sort of work its way around. It should work out. So if we go back to the timbered brick right here. No, not timbered brick. Full timber. And then we get this sort of uh, roof done. We'll get the second floor tiles done here. This bit should really... 
That bit should be an outside part. Actually, that bit looks weird now. I'm trying to work around the uh, the way these materials actually collide with one another. I'm thinking this would look good though, and then we just have the fences along here. It looks like this bit though needs to have a, a bit right there though. So I think we're gonna have this corner bit set up. We'll have like uh, some stone sticking out there instead. Actually, that might look better. All right, we continue with the full timber. We'll get this layer done. Nope, oh, Merv's like trying to go away. That's horrible. Horrible. All right, there we go. Speed mode it. And then we should be able to actually get the timbered plaster roof done. It's going to be sort of a shed. It doesn't need to be too big. It just looks fairly interesting. This miner needs to wake up. Wake up, miner. Get up. Yep, your fatigue is good enough. Get up. You just need to zoom down here. Make sure that there are no necromancers nearby. Okay, we've got to be wary. That last attack may have been to test our strength. And since we only have the strength of two soldiers, it's not really much. All right, our mine is waking his way to us. The full timber is working out. It looks a bit weird right here, but I'm not sure if that's a good or bad way. I think it's in a good way. All right, let's get the uh, bricks sorted out here. So if we get, um, do you want castle brick or timbered brick? Umber brick. Umber brick might be interesting. I think, yeah, let's go for the umber brick right here. And then we'll just sort of uh, go up like this. Same on this side. And then on here, we'll sort of have these bricks outside of the actual doorways. There we go, I think that looked quite interesting. Unfortunately, it's gonna look a bit weird here, so I wanna work out, see if that's actually gonna look fairly decent after we actually get that bit set up. But at least we're using stone. As you can see, we've got our windows set up. Actually, these look pretty good without the scaffolding, really. They do sort of square themselves off, but I think the scaffolding helps out. Yeah, let's have the scaffolding in there. Oh, not fence. Keep clicking. Fence instead of scaffolding. This is not a new thing I do. Don't have any on that side. Got one right there. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. I like that. It doesn't properly connect with the actual second floor, but it does make it look a lot more stable. So we've just got that one layer left. Now I'm not too sure about it. Yeah, it still looks alright. But I'm starting to think if maybe it looks better without the scaffolding now. I think it does. Yeah, let's have this without the scaffolding. We'll keep that bit because it makes sense, but... Like, just in general, it does look like a window just because it squares itself off around it. So there's like a nice little wooden part there. So that's a good look. Right, so we've got this part. Merv, what? What do you want from me? <laughs> it keeps annoying me. It keeps just sort of trying to get me off my mouse. <laughs> this is a pain in the ass. Love me. That's what it is. That's what it is. Right, so if we go ahead and find ourselves the timbered plaster right here. We want to get the roof set up. So if we just do this. It's quite a big roof. Which I'm starting to think might be a downside. Do we want it to be like this, or do we want it to stick out? Um, I mean the the actual roof itself will end up sticking out, so I think that's fine. Yeah, that that will work out. And then what we'll do is we'll have another layer here for the timbered brick, for the uh, plaster that is. I'm not sure we have enough plaster for all this. We need quite a lot. And then we'll do the same here. Does that work out? It looks like it does. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, well, well, like that anyway. I think this corner is going to look a bit strange after a bit, uh, after a little while though. So I'm not sure what we can really do about that. But I think we'll work around that when we get there. 
or do we want to just sort of flatten this bit off completely with timber with uh, timber plaster? Probably not. So if we just get that bit done, uh, we want to do the same here actually, but we want to start it off with the timber, the full timber, so that actually it looks it looks like it's part of the uh, area, which means we're gonna have to get a door set up. Uh, this bit needs to be flattened out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, if we just double check on the plaster situation, we have 366 plaster. Okay, we have quite a lot of plaster. <laughs> okay, that's that's a lot. That's I'm not gonna lie there. That is quite a lot. Also, we want to go ahead and get some more scaffolding set up. One, one right, one right there. Oh, don't want that. No. Okay. And we want one right here. And I think that's fine because they'll go up that layer anyway. Right. We want to get rid of this scaffolding here as well. It's a nice saw. Of course, now he's hovering, which doesn't help us. Okay, now it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We need to have some scaffolding on here, I feel. This looks a bit strange. I mean, it would. No, don't matter. It would look better with the actual thing jigs in there. How's the timber looking? It's looking good. Now, uh, if we go back to construction and walls and the full timber, and then we just try and sort of level this bit out. As I've done before. Looks like this layer is going to end up poking out a little bit. Now if we have a doorway right there. And we'll go for the... We'll get some planks right here to help everyone move around. What, what are you looking for? Right, everyone get out of the way. You're all stuck. Move around. Get down tonight. Why are you going that way? <laughs> I'm going to go the long way. No, there we go. Making your way back again. We need to have some scaffolding along here, obviously. We need more anyway, because they're having a bit too much trouble getting up and down this area. So if we go back and make some scaffolding along here. There we go. That should help them out a little bit more. Right. Uh, also... Was I going to make anything anywhere else? Oh, yeah, I was, I was focusing on this, but I was going to make a doorway. So if we want to make another sort of simple doorway right here, that'll look quite interesting. And I'm kind of thinking these, the layer that's right here, that's slightly on the outside, should have another roof sticking out. I think that'll look quite cool. So we'll see what we can do there. Actually, that might look a bit strange, though. So maybe it's something we don't actually do. I will end up looking weird. Well, no, no, it won't. It won't. Now that I think about it, if we just um, go back to the construction and we go to the walls and we go with the timber plaster, then we can just sort of do this. I think that looks quite interesting. It's just this side that's going to be a problem now. It's like the walls going into it. So we want to sort of figure out <clears throat> how this would have worked out before. So if we have the plaster here, and then it's going to go along the top. There would be one there, which means it's going to be here next. So all it's done, really, is built its way into the actual construction of the roof. And then it'll sort of uh, peek its way up like that. So there we go. It's just a little bit awkward, but there's a door that's part of the actual roof itself. So it's a little bit interesting. What we'll also do is your timber's fine at the moment. Yeah, we're still making it. Uh, what we also need to do is set up some fences along this bit. So if we go ahead and go to the utilities, fences. Hopefully this doesn't look weird. It's probably going to end up looking weird though. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, this should be good. Should be a-okay. Hopefully this bit doesn't remain bugged out when this block is placed. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Doesn't look amazing, but still works. Now we want to get the actual roofing set up. I'm not sure how these corners are actually going to connect, but I've got a decent idea of as to how. Because I think they're just going to sort of end off, I think, yeah. We'll have to find that out, I think, because this is going to end up looking a bit interesting. Well, it's going to start right here, I suppose, so it should work out. So if we go to the pause menu right here and just sort of get a rough idea of what we're doing. We really want to get some scaffolding set up outside so they can go up and down easily. from this layer. I 
I'm going to try and get everyone moved into the areas first before I actually start setting up this rather large com complex that we're going to have. By the looks of it, anyway. It's ending up like one. These doorways looking nice. It's a nice touch. We haven't been attacked in a little while ever since the Necromancer. Just have a look, a look around. Uh, have a little look around. We've got quite a few spiders, but it looks like we're fine. Obviously, the chance of that's probably going to improve the chance of the matriarch spawning. Well, it does. But oh well. Not too much of a problem. Looks nice. I don't know why. Nice touch. It's, it's random. I like it. Right, so if we could now go to construction and go to roofing and actually get this done. Do we want to use ceramic? Probably not. Thatch? Yeah, let's use thatch. That's going to look really nice. Thatch. Then we've got the normal wood walls. Thatch is good because we have so much wheat. So if we actually find out how much wheat we got exactly. 1,248 wheat. How much for per thatch? Five per thatch? Really? We don't really have that much then. How much per roof? Two? Okay. It's not amazing, is it? It would look really good, though, because it's part of, sort of, the farming uh, area. But if it's, like, five per roof tile, then we're probably not going to end up having too much, and it's much harder to get wheat than it is to get anything else. I mean, yeah, we have a lot of it, but in this, like, 48 days, we've only got 1,248 wheat. Then again, we're not making wheat as ourselves, so then, you know, maybe we should actually start doing that. We've only got a few wheat piles. We'll see what it looks like, I suppose. I mean, it's, it has to be thatch. Come on. It would look great. So if we just do this side with the thatch. Uh, we want it to stick out by one more, of course. Like this. And then we want to stick out here as well. Hopefully it doesn't look too weird. Alright, if we just get this bit sorted out as well, we're probably going to end up... How is this bit going to work? I guess it will sort of end up... Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. It will end up working out. Alright, so we get this bit done. This bit right here. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any hay pile, uh, piles nearby. So that means that we're going to have to get one set up. Oh, no, we do. Oh, fantastic. Why did, why did I put a hay pile there? I guess, in my mind, I knew that I wanted to make thatch roofing eventually. Okay, so this, look quite, this is looking quite interesting. It's not got the same effect that the wood did have, but I think that might be because we're sort of poking out a little bit. Looks good, though. I'm liking it. It's feeling like a farming sort of storage shed. It's working out. I want to get it done here, mostly, because I think it's going to look really interesting. So it looks like the fences have worked for the most part. There's a little bit of a bit like right there that's like, nope, I'm not working. But I think that's fine. It works, like, roughly. It looks good. Right, so how much thatch do we have left? Uh, uh, or wheat? Oh my god. Actually, they're holding most of it, but we're not even done yet. Like, how much can they hold? You've got 48, you've got 35. Okay, don't matter. we got quite a lot. So we should, it looks like we should be able to make it work. Let me get the scaffolding out of the way eventually. This looks really nice on the outside right there. I'm starting to think if maybe we actually don't have a poke out like this. So it looks really good without it poking out. What looks better, this or this? That or this? If we just try this side with without it poking out, well, I guess we'll know which one looks better, really. So if we just go ahead and do... This bit needs to be cornered anyway. Like that. And then we could sort of do that. Oh, like this. Beautiful. The top's going to be quite interesting to do. I'm not just sure how to really do that. Oh, wrong way. Um, do that. Beautiful. Yeah, how the hell am I going to do the top? Some of these uh, versions right here are going to look a bit strange. But I guess we'll see what we can do. Um, also, we want this bit to stick out like that. And then we've got this bit. And this bit should sort of form some way. I'm not too sure. Roofing is going to be really awkward. 